All right. I want you to hear something. Something I could rightly divide that someone was giving a message about. This person that I'm not going to mention names talked about how in the Bible that some of the disciples went somewhere and they prayed that these people would receive the Holy Spirit. Now, I want you to recognize something here. This person basically said that I could pray for someone out here and they would receive the Holy Spirit. Now, now listen, listen well here. That is only if someone was going to be in acceptance of the Holy Spirit. That there is no way, this is me talking, there is no way that I could pray for you to have the Holy Spirit and be in sin and you receive the Holy Spirit by sinning because that's where you would be rejecting the Holy Spirit. Now, now I know you're listening to this and you're going, well, what? How, are, how can you prove that, Jeff? How can you prove it? Because this same person that made these comments talked about turning someone to righteousness as if somebody out here was trying to convert someone to righteousness. I want you to think about that for a minute. So if I gave you a message and you were willing to accept this message, there is probably no doubt in my mind that I could pray to God that someone would receive the Holy Spirit and it would work. But if I sit here and I prayed for a loved one to receive the Holy Spirit and because of their ways, they weren't willing to accept the Holy Spirit because the only way you're going to get the Holy Spirit is if you turn from your ways. Because if this person is going to bring up trying to convert someone to righteousness what is sin that's unrighteousness I want you to think about that for a moment so basically what this person when I first heard this I was like it's impossible there is no way that I can pray for you to receive the Holy Spirit because then that would mean you would be saved. There's no way. You have to be in agreement and acceptance of of God and his ways. I mean, now these disciples probably had already talked to these people before they prayed to God that the Spirit would be poured on them. Do you recognize what I'm saying here? Do you recognize that if I went, if I went somewhere and I was talking to someone and they listened to me and they were interested, I could probably pray to God and ask that God give this person the Holy Spirit. But I can't pray for no one out here to receive the Holy Spirit that is not interested. Do you see where that makes sense? I mean, you can always pray for someone for God to, to come into someone's life even after being convicted many a times and rejecting. Because I am still 100% in belief 
that everyone out here at one time or another has been convicted by the Holy Spirit. And when people do the things that they're doing, they are rejecting the Holy Spirit. I mean, I'm going to say this stuff again because I want to at least give you a testimony. I have been convicted all my life. But there have been times when I did not get convicted by the Holy Spirit of my sin because it would have been a waste of time. Why would the Holy Spirit keep on convicting someone of sin that was not willing to listen to the conviction? Even in videos that I've made for atheists, I've talked about, do you not ever remember the conviction? The conviction. Remember, conviction here that, I, that, that I've always known was conviction I do not ever remember in my entire life, my grandmother, my grandpa, the church ever telling me, and I knew where that was coming from, and I knew what it was. Just like when I got baptized by the Holy Spirit. That was the same feeling that I sp that I felt for five or six hours long was conviction. I mean, I'm not going to say it was necessarily conviction, but it was the same feeling within me. Because I will always say that everyone has the Holy Spirit. But you have to activate the Holy Spirit working in your life. That's what you have to do. But if you think that God can't take the Holy Spirit away from someone for going back into unrighteousness, you're mistaken. And if you think that if a person was never going to turn from unrighteousness, that they were going to receive the Holy Spirit, uh-uh, uh-uh. That would be against God's complete nature. No way. Because now you're saying that God doesn't care about sin. And God never changed. Never compromised sending his, his only begotten son to the cross. He never compromised anything when it comes to sin. Even when some sins are covered under love and some sins lead to death, there was still never a compromise through Christ. It's kind of like if, if I had never backslid after getting baptized by the Holy Spirit and I was living my life, uh-oh. Highway patrolman alert. Highway patrolman alert. <laughs> I'm sitting out here driving down the road with my lights on in my truck making a video. And it's kind of sprinkling. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I'm just telling you this right now. It was never going to work. It is only people out here that have led people to believe these things that people believe out here, man. It makes perfect sense that there is no way in the world that if you're a non-believer, that I could pray for the Holy Spirit to come in to for you to have the Holy Spirit and for you to be right with God and be led by the Holy Spirit if you were never willing to accept the Holy Spirit into your life. And I could tell the difference between what I am saying and the difference of what they were talking about in the Bible. Those people didn't have the Holy Spirit. They had already talked to those people. That's the only way. Unless somebody, unless 
I prayed and I said, hey, what just happened to you was the Holy Spirit. And then they and then them be like, oh my goodness, I know what you're saying. I just witnessed it. There's no way that I could pray for someone that was never going to be willing to, to accept Christ, God, and be led by the Holy Spirit. What would be the use for that? Because then that would mean for that one second or that two seconds that you felt the Holy Spirit and yet you, it, it, it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. There is no way that I could pray to you that you are, that you would have the Holy Spirit and be saved if you were never willing to accept. Believe it or not, there's no way. It's impossible. Because that's saying that's saying that you can reject God and you can still be saved. And if sin separated people from God all these years, there is no way that Christians were going to have the Holy Spirit while they were living a life of sin, rejecting the Holy Spirit. No way. There is no way. There is no way that all these people out here that call themselves Christians that are in sin and haven't confessed and haven't turned away from their sins are going to maintain the Holy Spirit and be saved much less worry about a rapture. I'm telling you. I hope people catch on to this video right here.